Is that the way your garage sounds? That's what we're going to take a look at today. This is a quick tip on working on your garage door. Let's get started. If you've been in your house for about a year, you're probably due to take care of your garage door and it may be making some squeak noises like that. And that's what I'm going to show you what to do with that squeaky noise and that is do a little lubrication on it and it's not that hard. So I'm going to show you exactly what you should be using and then I'm going to show you the points where you need to lubricate and then we're going to see whether that sound goes away. Now, I had done a video about, I don't know, four or five months ago. I'll put the link up top and I'll put it down below. And it's basically what I say, I call it my filter day. And on that day, I go through all the filters and everything. And I'm going to update it with this part of this video next year as part of my one year routine that I do. So you will see this again in that video and make sure you subscribe so you get that link. Let's get started on lubricating your garage door. It's not that hard. I wanted to show you the type of garage door that I have, and I think this is probably standard on a lot of garage doors in the villages. Now, you don't have to live in the villages to do this, that's, that's for sure. But just in case you're wondering, this right here is the Tailwind, kind of like a smart garage door opener. I did a video on that, and I will put the link down below and probably above for that video. But the first thing you want to do is come along and you can disconnect the garage door. Now, just going to take lower the garage door. And you can hear it's pretty squeaky, but I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so uh, it's not that difficult. It's really easy to do. Now, let me get the lubricant and I'll show you what you can do. Actually, I'm gonna show you at Home Depot when I was there right now, what I bought. This is not what you want. This is not what you want. You do not want to use WD-40. It may work in the very beginning, but it's actually a degreaser, not a greaser. You may see some things like this, the three-in-one that are made for garage doors. And this is, I'm not sure, but this is probably a silicone. Which what you really want to look for is something like this. It's like a white lithium grease. Can't figure out which side to talk to. White lithium grease. And that's what I'm going to get and show you how to do this. WD-40 does do a white lithium grease, so you may want to get this. The difference in the price is about $2, so you may want to check the difference. As I said before, you don't want to use WD-40. The other thing, now that's straight WD-40. This is the white lithium, and this is the best. You can use a silicone too, but I think the white lithium grease is about the best. The other thing that you don't want to do, that a lot of people try to do, is you don't want to do the tracks right here down in the tracks. And that's simply because all you're going to do is create dust in there. You can wipe them down on the inside of it, just clean it off and that may help you out a little bit. But the first thing that I like to do is go ahead and hit most of these moving parts. And I'll get you a little closer to this. But the big thing you have to realize is everybody's got different types of rollers right in here. Now, some rollers are sealed and some are not sealed. If you see plastic around there in this area and you can't see bearings, then they're sealed and you really don't need to do anything. But if you can see bearings in the rollers, then you can go ahead and put just a little bit of grease in there. If you take a look, this is a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see it right in this area. There are bearings and I can see those. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit. 
You don't need much, just a little bit. And then you also want to lubricate around these pins. And the rollers. And you don't need much. And that pretty much takes care of that. And then you just repeat this on each one of these on the parts that move. Hopefully I'm not getting any on the lens. And you want to take a, uh, you know, paper towel and wipe these down a little bit. And I, the reason I say that is when it gets hot, your, um, you know, the, oops, sorry. These are going to, um, the, the grease is going to loosen up a little bit and you want to make sure it's not falling down on your car, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do before we're actually finished. Now, the other place that you want to hit is right in here. We're just going to take, sorry about the noise. And you can actually go right behind there and you can get a little bit better access to it. The other thing, and I'm going to show you in a second, is right up here, this spring. Now, whatever you do, do not try to attempt to change out this spring. This spring is really loaded up with a lot of torsion, but I'll show you how we're going to do this. Now, what I did do is get like a little stool to stand up on if you have a problem with heights. Maybe you want to get a handyman to do this. But then I got um, a piece of cardboard, an old piece of cardboard to stick behind here. And I'm going to have to move the camera around to do this. Hang on a second. What you want to do is just kind of loosely spray along the top of this. Like I said, I got this piece of cardboard to kind of keep the spray from going all over. And I'm using, not using the little um, tube, I'm using the front end of this can. I'm just going to hit the top of this. And that's about it. You can see that I got just along the top of the spring. And that's all you really want to do. Now, the other area you want to do is just do the cable. Now, I'll show you how we're going to do that. Remember, you do not want to do this. If it's dirty, you can run a, a cloth in there, but you don't want to do the bottom side of this. If you get down near the bottom, you can just raise the door up, and that's the way we'll do this. Right now, we'll go ahead and hit these last few, hitting the bearings just a little bit. You don't need much. And then around where the pin goes through, and we also did these right here. So you want to do right in the joints right there. Come over and do this last one. As you can see, it doesn't take much. You don't need much of this. It's not. And get this door over here. I forgot that. The lock rather. And that isn't a, isn't a real big thing, the, the lock, but you just want to kind of keep it loose, that's all. And I will show you a couple more things, and then we're going to be ready to try this. Before, I talked about this cable right here, and this isn't too big of a deal, but what you want to make sure that you get is right in here. Because this is another place where you have bearings. And I usually just give a little spray on the cable while it's up because now it's everything's right next to each other and that's it doesn't take much it'll eventually 
and this little pin right here, any of these pins that you see that may make some noise, take care of those uh, while you can. Sorry, I'm out of, the, out of the light here. But that's about it. Now, the next thing you wanna do, I'm gonna put this down, is just come over and lower, oops, it basically clicked back into there. So we're gonna disconnect that. And and we're just going to raise this and lower this a bunch of times and then take one last swipe at it with the um, rack. And most of these chains, the, the newer chains are already coated kind of with a coating. What I had to do when my, uh, when this first, my first part of my year towards the end of my one year warranty, this chain was too loose and it would bounce up and down on here. Uh, so since I was in the warranty, I just called the home warranty department. But if not, this is where you want to kind of tighten the chain up. Now, this right here is the trolley. And the trolley rides along just the top of this little lip right here. That's on this one. So wherever that trolley rides, basically you wanna put just a little grease. Not much, this is not, that's all we're doing. So when this comes back up, I'm gonna show you how this clicks in, right? This comes up and it clicks right in. And that's what the release is like that. So we're gonna release it, do the rest of this rail, and then we're gonna see how well we did. The proof is in the pudding. So here we go, let's take a listen to it. You remember what it sounded like before? Here we go now. Well, I would say that's a lot better. So not only are you quieting it down, but you're also protecting all those bearings and everything. So once a year, I will combine this with my yearly filter, but I hope that helps you out. It's not that hard to do, just a can of lithium. And there's your quick tip. Have a great day, and I'll either see you back here on YouTube. Thanks for subscribing and liking, or I'll see you in the villages.